Hey everyone, in We Can Confirm Land, I'm Zav Matos with your question of the week. This one's coming from Twitter uh, from N. Goodrich, who says, Penny Arcade has called on gamers to boycott E3 because of the ESA support in SOPA. Uh, that's the Stop Online Piracy Act. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, this question's a little confusing because I don't know if Penny Arcade was calling for gamers to uh, boycott it or publishers or media outlets or whatever, but... Uh, this question comes at an interesting time because today, um, Lamar Smith, the uh, sponsor, number one sponsor on the bill, has actually announced that SOPA is on hold indefinitely and they'll revisit it at another time to figure out uh, what they can do in the future. And um, which I think is great. Obviously, the ESA, uh, the Entertainment Software Association, uh, who runs E3 and has support from a number of member, a number of members like Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo and other major publishers, um, their support on SOPA was disheartening to a lot of gamers who think that SOPA is not a very good bill and actually could strive to uh, eliminate a lot of the free speech that the internet provides us. Um, so now that it's dead, I think we can kind of move past it. There's also still uh, the Protect IP Act, or PIPA, if you've heard of that. And there's a new one, I think, that was just established that they're trying to uh, like fold into the house uh, right now. So it, it's still something that, even though SOPA is over um, at the moment, it's still something that's going to come up in the future. And the sentiment behind it, the idea behind it, I think, is, is sound. I mean, you know, intellectual property and things that... Uh, people create in media uh, for you know the video game industry, music industry, movie industry. Protecting that stuff is important because piracy is not a good thing. You have to remember the reason why this is even a thing is because piracy is so uh, rampant throughout the industry or throughout um, the internet as a whole worldwide. Uh, so the ideas behind it are good, but the execution of what they wanted to do was way too harsh. Uh, so that's why I'm glad that it's dead. There was a blackout recently, uh, a lot of sites, including uh, even I think one or two uh, video game media outlets uh, blacked out in protest of SOPA, and a lot of people asked why Shaq News didn't do that, and Joystick and Kotaku also didn't do that as well, and I think the reason that, well, the reason why I personally didn't do it is, uh, and I actually wrote this on Twitter as well, if you follow me on Twitter, um, as a reporter, which is what my job is, uh, yeah, my primary dedication is to the reader. And I think that examining the issue for the reader and showing them both sides and showing them why it's good or bad is what my job is. And I think that's more important uh, for me as someone in editorial to present to you versus taking a personal stand. Uh, so that's why we didn't black out. And that's why uh, a lot of other sites decide not to black out. Uh, in terms of boycotting E3, I think that it is... Uh, for media outlets especially, it's probably not a good idea. And, I'll, and the reason why I think it's not a good idea is because would I rather boycott them and not have them answer any questions because the people who disagree with them are not there? Or would I rather go to the E3, talk to the ESA people, talk to people who are still members of the ESA and ask them why? Why do you still support SOPA? Why do you support the ESA? That is more important to do. It is more important to get in, uh, a debate going versus... Uh, boycotting them, I think, or boycotting that event. Because if you boycott that event, they're still going to make their money. They've already had their uh, register. The, the members have already registered to go. Members members are still paying their dues for the ESA. Uh, the ESA being like a lobbyist group for the industry as a whole. So, uh, I don't think boycotting um, as a media outlet E3 makes sense. Uh, publishers, I'm surprised. Uh, companies like Epic, uh, who said that they do not agree with the ESA stance on SOPA, yet remain an ESA member. That part of it baffles me a little bit. Red5, developer of Firefall, an upcoming free-to-play MMO, they decided to cancel their E3 plans because they didn't agree with the ESA, and they started a new lobbyist group for gamers, I believe it's called the League of Game League for Gamers. That stuff, that protest, that makes more sense to me. Um, and showing a, a sign of force like Google did with their SOPA protest by blacking out their logo and, and showing and give, appointing people to the direction of how they could protest SOPA, 
and uh, Wikipedia blacking out. That stuff, I think, uh, really did have an impact. But a media organization, I don't think we should be making that activist stand. Um, but that's my personal feeling, and that's essentially what we decided at Shack News. Um, but it's dead right now. So we have to wait and see what happens next. And we need to educate people uh, about the both sides. And I think that's really important. And one thing that I don't think this industry is doing a very good job of. I think we know that we don't support SOPA or PIPA or any other... Uh, legislation that is going to be this extreme um, but I think it's important for us as journalists or reporters whatever you want to call us to show you both sides of the story and I don't think we've done a very good job of that uh, so it's something we have to strive to do better thank you I don't know you know um, a lot of people um, getting away, away, away from those big big projects kind of starting passion projects instead and these are some really creative, bold, uh, creative types. So uh, I think you're going to see a lot of interesting things come out of that. And the uh, new opportunities for people to sell those games via iTunes and Steam and uh, whatever platform they decide to sell it on, I, I think is going to be a big boon to that. So I think it's a really exciting time for indie games.